All right, how to pick a frame for yourself being the noob that you are and all the crashing that you're gonna do and so on and so forth. So I've got here a couple frames. I'll just introduce them to you real quick. This is a Evo HD uh, Connex, not that the HD system means anything. This can also be ran as an analog frame. So that being said, here is an analog Evo HD with a pod. We have the Martian 220. Okay. We have a SCX HD. Again, just like the Evo, this thing can be ran as analog or uh, well, actually, he offers a analog variant of this frame. It's a little bit smaller. Um, then we have uh, a ultra minimalist style frame, the Diatone Crusader GT200. And then we have a Stone Blue Airlines Spartan uh, 210X. So uh, all these frames pretty much have... Uh, you know different characteristics and things about them that I want to uh, point out to you so if you don't want to hear all the uh, you know technical jargon that I've got to say the frame that I would recommend you get as a noob is this one right here this is a Martian 220 now whether you know if, if money's no object and whatever Let's just have this discussion based on that. Uh, you can get the Impulse uh, Alien, uh, Impulse RC Alien. Uh, wonderful frame. Um, this will kind of be, uh, you know, the standard for me uh, when I recommend uh, people frames. And, and I'll just go over it. And, and all the things that this thing has, the Impulse Alien RC has. And the Impulse Alien uh, has more options, more amenities than, than what you can just get for this thing. It's also a, a thinner profile, um, and obviously it's going to have much, 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 much better uh, carbon. So, anyway, well, why do I like this frame so much? Okay, a couple of reasons. One, it looks good. Not that that really means anything, but... Uh, it looks good, but it also has a lot of real estate. There is a ton of room in there for you, the noob, to put all your your parts and stuff that you probably uh, have bought that are probably the wrong size and too big, and this is just gonna be a very forgiving frame as you build it. Um, but at the top of the list, actually, is camera protection. This thing has awesome, awesome camera protection. You can see the camera sits down in there behind the top, behind the front standoffs and below the top plate so when you hit a tree or a gate or whatever it is that you're going to hit your camera's protected okay you also have uh arms for individual arms so if you break an arm which i'm just going to throw this out there I've, I've it's unlikely that you're going to break an arm okay I've had this frame for probably six months and beat the crap out of it. I've yet to break an arm, um, go knock on wood, but you know, I've got friends who've had the Impulse Alien, uh, Impulse RC Alien since the day it came out and they've beat it all to crap and they have yet to break an arm. The, the quality of carbon that is coming out now that these guys are using is just so much better than it was two years ago when, when you know, I was first getting into this. So anyway, it's got a uh, PDB, which allows you to do uh, individual ESCs on the arms, which is nice. Uh, it it um, just makes it very workable. It, it's a very workable frame. It's not the lightest frame, but weight really, you know, it, it's, not, it, it's not everything. Um, it has a lot to do with how these things handle and I think that there is a threshold right at the 330 to 350 gram mark once you go above that the pig controller starts to struggle a little bit and, and, and it requires more from you to tune it to get it to fly nicely the builds that are below 
330 grams fly nicely just inherently because there's not as much weight to the craft and the pick controller has a much easier time uh, executing the commands that you give it and it, it does it very well so anyway the Martian 220 so frames that um, frames that let's just go to the pod okay this is my first pod build I actually just finished it today thing looks freaking awesome but I'm running a TBS Unify Pro and there is no way I can change my channels on this thing. On the Martian, I just stick my little finger into the side and push the button on the VTX and I'm changing my channels. This thing, however, because everything's enclosed I, and the way I had to mount it, I just, there's no really good way for me to be able to, to do this. So I'm actually interested in um, putting the smart audio on here that way I can change my VTXs with my, my VTX channels with the uh, Tyrannus radio that being said just as a side note there's no reason anybody should get a QX7 the price is ridiculously cheap and it is a ridiculously powerful radio and it's going to be just I think that it has been and it will continue to be the industry standard and it's just much more affordable now uh, than the X9D. So just buy QX7 and let that be the end of it. All right, moving on. You have to uh, give yourself a little bit more wire length when you're cutting this, when, when you're cutting the wires because you gotta pull this pod off and things are attached to the pod and it just, the workability of this thing is not really all that there. It's, it's just a pain in the butt, okay? Uh, plain and simple. It looks cool. It's great, but you're the noob and this is a, a pain in the butt to work with So I just would steer you away from something like this. Okay uh, Also, you know going back to the whole camera protection thing this pod this print is TPU. It's bendable It's flexible. Whatever this thing hits the, the camera's hitting it. Okay, so you know Builds like this, and I'll just go ahead and bring this one up next since it's the perfect example of wh what you shouldn't get and why you shouldn't get it. The Crusader GT200. This is a wonderful frame. I've had a couple of them, and uh, this camera is just completely exposed. If you hit anything, this camera is done. Okay. Uh, you, you, you might could stock a couple uh, extra cases and maybe you'll get lucky and you won't break the actual PCB and you can just replace the case and you're off and going and that's all fine and well but it's just it's ridiculous uh, for a, a new person who's gonna crash a lot to get this because you're just gonna be wasting money on cameras it's also a pretty technical build even though everything is integrated to PCB FC and the the low you know profile stack of the VTX that sits on there uh, this is actually a customer's uh, build and he supplied me with a D4R2 and there's just no freaking room in there for the D4R2 I'm having trouble getting the camera tilt back you, you know so uh, if you're a spectrum user and uh, you got a satellite, it'll, it'll work, it'll be fine. But you know, if, if you're a FR Sky guy, just get an XM Plus or uh, an XSR, even would give you a little bit more room than the uh, X4R. What, what, so, but anyway, this is not a tutorial on part selections. So, this frame is just not for you, the beginner, okay? No matter how sexy, no matter, you know, how much you want it because it looks cool and it's a racing machine and it's the best of the best and blah 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 it's not for you you're not there you're going to wreck a lot you need a frame that is going to uh, completely encase all of your electronics your important stuff and um, you know you'll be good so uh, the SEX this is another one of those frames that uh, like the um, the Martian has uh, removable arms replaceable arms okay so this is a nice feature to have okay let's just pretend this is not the HD version okay so take the blue away and that's pretty much what you're given the way the camera's protected on this frame is vertical plates just like the Armitana armadillo that I had for about a week or two and then I got rid of it because I saw the problem with vertical plates and the only reason I actually bought this one is because it was the first HD frame that I could actually get in my hands to my house when I when I got my Connex system and I wanted a proper 
HD frame to fly, so I bought this, and as soon as the Evo came back on the market, I, I jumped to that. So anyway, same thing, vertical plates. The problem with the vertical plates, in my, in my mind anyway, is when you hit, you, if you hit something solid, right, this is gonna delaminate, it's gonna fray. Carbon is very, very, very weak on the sides. You know, it's it's strong this way on the on the front, but on the sides, it's, it's not strong. So to just, just, using that as your your camera protection is i don't know it's just it's just not a good solution so i, I prefer there to be steel aluminum titanium standoffs to house your camera and protect it so um frames that don't have uh, removable arms this is fine okay the likelihood of this arm breaking is is very slim okay very very slim and this frame actually has probably the best camera protection out of all the frames here okay and the reason why I say that is because when you mount your camera in here the camera sits below the top plate it sits behind the front standoffs like I like but something in addition to that is the standoff spacing is actually narrower than all the other builds okay so here it is here on the Evo HD okay you can see it's it's barely just barely more narrow okay but when you're talking about protecting your camera it's, it, it's a lot on the um, on the Martian 220 you can see it's a little bit more pronounced it's 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 a lot narrower on than the Martian is okay this is a great frame very easy to work on. If you did a FC PDB, you can see how easy it is to access the FC from the side. Put these standoffs here so you can see that. Your ESCs mount right to the arms. I mean, this is an incredibly simple frame that is uh, pretty well thought out as well. There's these little XT60 provisions. There's one here, there's one at the front, there's one on the bottom. I think it's a gimmick. It's not something that I would use. Uh, personally but if you know if, if that's what you like to try and do that's cool you know that's fine whatever uh, you got your little uh, SMA hole for your VTX up top uh, this is just a it, it's a good frame good carbon it's very simple and uh, this would be what I would recommend to you if you didn't want this okay this is my number one choice for you as a noob this would probably be my uh, second or third next to the Evo okay actually I'd probably definitely say the Evo would be, would be my second choice to you as a noob okay it's got a little bit more real estate uh, than a build that's like this okay so you got some some room to work especially uh, if you're doing uh, analog HD is a little bit different story uh, but if you're doing an analog build there's there's plenty of room to work in here okay um, and I would do it with the top plate okay I would not go with the pod okay this is just a pain in the butt uh, and I just wouldn't recommend it so uh, that's it what again what you need to think about uh, you being the noob and also real quick the Evo HD th this is the arm design okay so it does have replaceable arms it's just a twin arm design uh, what you need to think about is uh, camera protection camera 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 protection okay because you just don't want to be spending money throwing your money away on cameras okay uh, workability accessibility you know is, is easy to work on um, the third one weight okay and again you know the 330 345 gram weight class is, is where you need to be this is sitting at 315 uh, this is sitting at uh, 375 uh, my Martian I don't know this is kind of a unique build in that uh, I don't have a typical uh, VT, uh, VTX antenna on here I've got a whip on here uh, so it's, it's kind of an oddball but I think I don't even know. I'm not going to guess. Anyway, so uh, don't let weight, don't don't be so focused on weight that you got to have the lightest, the, the 
you know, the, the lightest, fastest thing because what's going to happen is if you get that in your head too much, you're going to buy something like this. Okay, a frame that's like ultra, ultra, ultra skinny and you're going to break it and then you're going to be pissed off and you're going to call it a piece of shit and it's a garbage frame and really it's just something that you probably shouldn't be flying to begin with. So uh, that's it. Check out the Martian 220. It's 30 bucks. Check out the uh, Evo HD, $59, $69 frame maybe. Uh, check out the uh, Spartan, $59, $69 frame somewhere in there from uh, Stone Blue Airlines. Uh, you can get the Evo HD on Pyroflip uh, RC.com. Um, if, if you like the, if you're not the guy that wants to uh, build and you just want to buy a, a, a bind and fly or a plug and fly or whatever, uh, not the Diatone Crusader GT200, but they have something called the Tyrant S, which is a frame very, very, very similar to this. Uh, easy to work on, a lot of in integrated stuff that, that, like the PDB into the frame that makes it easy to work on, and it's uh, top mounted battery. The camera is very well protected. Uh, that's a very good one for you to look at as well. So uh, that's it. Those are the things that you should consider while you're surfing the internet and looking at all these cool frames. Just try to keep those things in mind, and you'll be much, much better off in the long run for it. All right, till next time, fly safe.